loves us. He loves us not. He loves us. He loves us not. He loves us. He loves us not. The loyalty is very important here. We're like family, and you should stick around if you're doing well. And you've got to sacrifice and be part of us. I mean, this is so important here. And we in this province, economically and in terms of farming communities and so on, are also underdogs. Getting to it together and then triumphing, it was like the province exploded. Get off, Austin! Join me now! In that 1989 breakup, the Offensive MVP award went to Ryder's quarterback, Ken Austin. Overnight, he just became an icon here. I mean, he joined one of the most exclusive fraternities you can become a part of. Great Cup winning Rough Rider quarterback. There was Ron Lancaster, and then 23 years to the day later, there was Ken Austin. It's the greatest luck walk I've ever played, I think. I think that's when fans really fell in love with him. He's a winner, made the big plays when he had to. I remember us being late, uh, and the folks were back, and we had erected the stage. And I couldn't believe how many people were there. It was very cold. And I thought, this is unbelievable. How long have they been waiting in the stands for this weather? It really left a mark. One of the great memories in my football career. The love affair, though, soured over time. After the 1993 season, Austin refused to return to the Rough Riders and ended up with the BC Lions. Some Rider fans didn't hold back their anger when the new Lions pivot made his first return to Regina. Well, I knew there was going to be a pushback, there's no question. <laughs> Who would have thought it would have ever come to that five years earlier when he was the toast of the town? Before the game, one fan purchased a dilapidated Austin Mini and let fans exact their revenge on the car. Five dollars a swing that went to charity. There was a lot of anger that I recall among fans that he would abandon us like that. I think the economics of the situation as much as anything led to his departure. Ken Austin is making about $200,000 a year and there were quarterbacks in the league making twice as much. What was your thinking? Why did you leave? It was a situation where um, there's always a lot of reasons. Uh, some that we've discussed publicly, some that we've never shared. In the 1993 season, I noticed that fans were just ripping Ken apart. It didn't matter if he threw for 40 yards and four touchdowns. People always wanted more. The criticism was tough, it was at you, but you became particularly upset when it was directed at Shelly. Did that play any role in your wanting to leave? You know, honestly, it, it, it probably did, but that wasn't the fans' fault. That, that was more my fault, my immaturity, and, and how we handled it. Our oldest daughter was two years old, and during that time, she was hearing her daddy's name being cussed in the stands, and I was too immature to blow it off. And he's not like a prima donna. He just was protecting his family. 13 years later, Riders GM Eric Tillman took a chance and hired Ken Austin to become head coach. I'd like to thank Eric for uh, placing that trust in me. Despite having no prior head coaching experience, Ken Austin led the Riders to their third great cup in franchise history. And the Saskatchewan Rough Riders come back to Toronto and win. For Saskatchewan fans, all was forgiven. Austin was back in their hearts. Bad just went crazy. They were really a believer of camp. Everybody was on high. Just a fantastic high like we haven't had much problems ever before. I said to our group that we all talk about, I said, you know, I was wrong here. He, he's a master in terms of hopes. It was like stepping back in time with a new challenge and a new atmosphere. And um, it was fantastic. Some of our greatest memories are in Saskatchewan. And, and that will never change. After one season, Kent Austin announced that he was leaving. As a matter of fact, if it were based on money, I'd be staying here. Raised in Nashville, Tennessee, he accepted an offer to become the offensive coordinator at his alma mater, Ole Miss. I remember the first rumbling about the offer to go back there and leave here after the 2007 year. He said, not a chance. There's no way I'm leaving. Then two weeks later, he was gone. Some people were ticked off. On Sunday, after nearly a six-year absence, 
Ken Austin will return to Mosaic Stadium. Joining the Ticats this season as both their head coach and general manager, Austin is looking forward to the opportunity. What do you think the reception is going to be? Well, I'm not, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'll be focused on the game, and, and I know that they'll be glad that it's pretty good. There's pictures up on the, on the wall of the stadium. You don't think that's not controversial? I would say a lot of boost. If not for Ken Austin's contributions, this franchise might fill up one great cup instead of three. And I hope that's remembered when, uh, when Ken's back here. Now, Ken told me, and I quote, Sometimes, Brian, you look on some of your decisions and realize it may not have been a great decision. Probably going to BC as quarterback was one of those. Now, both Kent and Shelley understand the passion and knowledge of the Rough Rider fans, thus the strong reaction to them, both pro and con. They see the same great passion with the Ticab fans, and for that reason, they're happy to be back in the CFL. You know, football people I talk with say owner Bob Young made a smart move in bringing back in Oscar.